we just hiked a huge amount up Silver Peak Mountain. Uh, expecting to see views of Georgian Bay and, and uh, Sudbury. Ended up finding this. All right, so Ange and I are about to head out. We're heading out to Killarney. I wanted to go over the three best things about having a Westie and camping in a Westie. That little guy right there. And the three worst things about traveling in a Westie. So we're heading up to Killarney. We're going up there for a week. First time up in Killarney. Uh, we're heading to Perry Sound first today. It's 30 degrees, I think, without the Humidex. They say it's feeling like 40. So first worst thing about driving in a Westie is the no air conditioning. It's brutal. Anyways, we'll get a little breeze going and it should be good. successfully into Perry Sound. It was, it was a great drive, Lola ran perfectly. Um, but as we're heading in, I asked Angela, I was like, please Google some places to go and eat. So she finds the, the Trestle Brewing Company. And that was this place here, and it overlooks the, it overlooks the river, it overlooks the train trestle that runs, that runs across. But the place is absolutely dynamite. Check this out, check it. The Trestle Brewing Company, it was awesome. Sound like the news. Good morning. Good morning and day two. So we had a fantastic sleep at the Bayside Inn. Probably one of the, like the last time that, the last time that we're gonna be in an actual bed. Heading out this morning, we're gonna be doing the 300 and, uh, what is it, 310 kilometer trip um, to the rest of the way up to Killarney. Okay, so yesterday we had the heat of the bus. Second drawback, when you're driving, you're constantly, you have two lights on, you have two lights on a Westphalia. You've got the generator or battery light and you've got the oil light. Those are the only two things that are, that you can tell kind of what's going on with the engine besides sound. And sound when you're driving one of these things is absolutely impossible to get because you can't hear over the wind noise that it creates when you're doing 80 kilometers an hour. Um, so when you're driving on a day like yesterday when the temperatures are hitting, uh, 29 to 35 degrees, you got to worry about an overheat. It doesn't make for the most peaceful drive, but at the same time, one of the best things about being in a Westphalia is the fact that you don't have your heads up display telling you how fast you're going, your GPS reminding you of every turn before you get to it. Uh, like a Christmas tree of lights, or, or they used to call them Tokyo at night displays, uh, where everything is lit and it's letting you know everything. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this up. We are on our way to Killarney. Actually, we gotta get the we gotta get the bus repacked. See ya. Yeah, so far the the first impressions of Killarney are terrific we had a little bit of inclement weather yesterday but it's looking pretty dang good today today we are going to go find the start of the cloche trail which is a hundred kilometer trail we're gonna hike in as much as three hours will take us we're gonna get some good shots gonna get some good video it's gonna be so cool
regardless of the reasons why you wanted to get a Westie, there's one thing that it will do. It gets you out to places that you don't normally see and the type of beauty that you don't normally see. You know, we drove eight hours, 500 kilometers, and it takes you to a place that you really, you, you, you can't beat. So even though they could be a pain in the butt sometimes, and they really can, still, if it gets you out to see stuff like this, you gotta get one. and I would imagine our final hike. We just canoed in. This one's called Silver Peak, and on a clear day, you can see all the way to Sudbury. So. We canoed on Bell Lake. And we canoed out on Bell Lake. It's beautiful out here. It's very beautiful out here. And Angie's bandaging up her feet every time. 